Khan is the one punching me in this video. The same man standing here today. I remember now. There's no doubt in my mind. So, you retract your earlier statement? Yes. My apologies. Your Honor, clearly this witness has no credibility. How does the defense respond? I admit, the witness was shaken up before. But I believe that's a perfectly understandable response. This is his first time in court, after all. I have no doubts regarding his credibility. This Stardust establishment. It's a host club, yes? How long have you been employed there? About two years. For that short a time frame, you seem to have an awful lot of trouble with your customers. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean. Several of them have approached you in hopes of marriage, have they not? They come spending huge sums of cash, so you act like you're ready to seal the deal. You say whatever it takes to make them happy in the moment, but your story changes once things start to get real. Five women have filed reports with the Consumer Affairs Bureau, and those are just the ones who have stepped forward. Can we really trust the words of such a manipulative man? With these character traits in mind, I sincerely doubt the credibility of the witness's testimony. And if the witness is indeed lying, the defendant's alibi is invalid. That is all. How does the defense respond? I'd like to continue on the topic of credibility. Mind if I ask you a few questions, Prosecutor? Go ahead. First, allow me to fast forward the security footage to just a few days after the crime. Oddly enough, we'll be looking at the exact day the prosecution filed their suit. Hmm. Isn't that you, Prosecutor? Well, uh, yes. And in this footage, you're reenacting the altercation that took place between the defendant and our witness, yes? What? No. Well, that's strange. You stated earlier that you hadn't seen any footage from the camera near the sauna. But then, how would you be able to reenact things exactly as they went down? You also claimed you did not inspect the area yourself. It seems that wasn't the truth. Why are you hiding the truth from us, Prosecutor? <laughs> You're wrong! As you can see, the original footage isn't exactly clear. I would understand if you had denied that the defendant was the man who punched our witness. But instead, you claimed you hadn't seen the footage at all. If I had a guess, when you first saw the footage, you realized Hamra might have been the other man. At the very least, you couldn't rule out the possibility. So you lied, I would say. <laughs> that, that's not true. Can we be sure that what you say is credible? You've already lied outright in a court of law. And unfortunately for you, there's only one person who thinks the defendant is guilty. And that's you, prosecutor. The night Kume got murdered, Hamura was holed up in Sauna Go 10 till morning. The footage from the security camera, Hamra's alibi, Seiya's testimony, it all lined up with a story that